Hey fam, how are you guys doing today? So today, like the title says, we are going to be trying out weird products from TJ Maxx. You know how sometimes there's times when you go shopping at TJ Maxx or at Marshalls and you come across these weird products and you kind of glance at it and you think about like, what is this for? Well, today I figure I do this video, pick up some products that I think are weird that I find at TJ Maxx or products that I, are not usual products I would probably even buy or even products that, I don't know, we just wanna find out whether it works or not. All the products I will be mentioning it is going to be listed down below. If I could find it online at Amazon or any other place, I will list it down below. But anyways, with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, join the family. Also make sure you like this video if you do like it. Anyways, let's go on to the video and let's get started. actually put my cat ears on because I want to keep my baby hairs out of the way and that's typically my issue. I know how sometimes people can use, you can use like a toothbrush to just comb your hairs out, put some hairspray and you're good. I think these products are weird products or products that are very unusual. So let me know in the comments below if you do think they're weird. If not, then maybe I'm the one that's weird. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna lay all these products out on my table. Just so that way it's easier for me and it's not that hard for me to show you guys all these products. So, and I will tell you guys how much these products were for as well. So let's get started with the first thing. So the first thing is going to be something that I've actually been very, very interested in. So the Erase Your Face by Daniel Creations. I don't know if you guys can see the product there, but it is tear off sponges comes with 60 sponges and when i seen this i thought they were for applying a makeup but when i was reading the instructions here it's actually also for gently removing your makeup you get about 60 sponges in here and each sponge looks like this it has this little edge or a little like line here where you could actually tear it apart and I actually have mine right here. It looks so cute. It actually reminds me of an eraser, you guys, just like it says in the package. It's kind of weird to me because I've never seen any product like this. This is very new, like very innovative. So I wanted to actually give it a try and see if it actually does remove your makeup. Let's see if we can remove my mascara or my eyeshadow from underneath my makeup or my makeup bag right there. So you actually do see product right there, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I don't know if you guys can see like really closely when you see me. It looks like it has removed some mascara from my eyes. Um, right there, if you compare it to this eye, you can actually see that this one has no mascara. So I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm also going to do it on this eye as well. So I'm gonna just turn this around like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Wow, look you guys. So you can see there, there is that black mascara there. You know when sometimes you mess up and you accidentally apply mascara on your face or you accidentally apply eyeliner on your eye for some reason and you're just like don't know what to do? Well, I think this is actually a pretty good idea to use this for. So I'm going to actually try and see if maybe if I apply, let's say, this um, eyebrow pencil and I kind of make a boo-boo like this, right? Let me see if that takes it off. Wow, you guys. Do you guys see how easily that removed it? <gasps> this is so freaking cool. So I'm actually pretty impressed by this little thing. I have highlighter on here too, so we're gonna try and see if we can remove that. And do you guys see I have no more highlight on my face? That is so cool. It definitely removed my highlight. And now let's go on this side, see if that removes it as well. And yeah, this is good. Now I don't think that you can remove your whole makeup with this and not 
wash your face or any of that so it's not for that it's it's like it says in the product it's just as an eraser so if you mess up on something you erase it really quickly and you're good you know so i totally recommend it i'm really impressed by it i am definitely going to keep it and anyways let's move on to the next thing so the next weird product that i found at tj maxx this was actually for 4.99 this one is called the glow oxygen bubbling mask with vitamin c and hyaluronic acid and it is from the brand coop and daisy now i wanted to try this because i've never actually tried a mask that bubbles i'm actually going to wipe away my home makeup and i'm going to use a facial wipe from shea moisture which i also found at tj maxx a while ago um and i think this is actually pretty good for removing makeup too now it's not my typical neutrogena facial removing wipes i totally totally recommend those wipes you guys it removes your makeup so fast i do love these though because they smell like mangoes and fruity type of smell it smells so good you guys I have my makeup all removed and we're gonna try the mask. Now, the only thing I didn't remove was my eye makeup because honestly, like I love this makeup so much. I don't wanna remove it. I didn't clean my face like the instructions said, but this is just for fun. We're gonna try it out and see how it works. This box actually contains four of these masks and what you wanna do when you apply mask, you guys probably already know this. I don't have to tell you guys, but Pretty much try to avoid the eye area and any area that is very sensitive so i'm just removing it from the package i'm gonna just apply it that's how it's going to go you guys oh that feels so freaking good you guys feels like so cold on the face and oh my god this feels amazing now that i have this mask we're gonna actually give it 10 minutes and i'm actually going to set my timer Okay, so my timer is up for 10 minutes. I'm going to keep this on and while we wait for the 10 minutes for this mask, I'm actually going to try one other thing that I found also at TJ Maxx, which I found it pretty odd too. I've never seen these type of masks, but it's actually a mask for the lips, you guys. So this one is a moisturizing lip mask. It is from the brand Jean-Pierre Cosmetics and it was going for around $2.99. Very intriguing. Honestly, when I seen this, I was like, what is this for? Like, what is this for? And I honestly never used these type of items before on my lips. And you know, like sometimes it's very important to moisturize your lips. So when I seen that this was a moisturizing lip mask, I was like, oh my God, I am all for moisturizing my chappy lips. So you get about five of these packages, as you can see here. let's just see so i guess you're supposed to put it on your lips like this i guess this is how it's supposed to look like now it has like the jelly consistency you guys it feels so weird you guys i'm going to just keep this on my mouth and my face and then i'll be right back in about 10 minutes a few moments later eventually Time is almost up. It is 10 more seconds and it's almost over. I cannot take myself seriously because I look so funny. Honestly, this was so slippery on me, you guys. It just kept like coming off my face. So now it says that I'm supposed to work all the product into my skin. All right, now that's a little bit weird now because I don't really think this is supposed to do that. All right, so I guess I'm supposed to like let that sink into my skin after I rub it. My skin feels very tight and very sticky. I probably should go wash my face, clean my face with water, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back. So my skin, you guys, looks so freaking amazing. Wow, this mask really did a good job because my skin feels so smooth. A little bit red here, but other than that, my skin looks very very glowy so like clean i don't know i totally totally recommend this it's definitely definitely did a good job at cleaning and making my face look so smooth love love that product and the next product that i'm going to try this one is called the micro needle facial roller 
Now, this was very intriguing when I seen it because I've actually never used a facial roller before, but it actually says on the print here, 540 needles, 1.5 millimeter, which means I guess that's how thick or long the needles are. This is from the brand Revive Beauty, and it was going at TJ Maxx for $7.99. Rows of rolling micro needles help promote softer, smoother looking lines around your eyes, forehead, lips, and more. The micro needling can also help boost absorption of skincare serums and creams. Helps firm and brighten your skin, encourages collagen production, and rejuvenates skin tone and texture. So that is what it's for. We're going to give it a go. We're going to try it out. And honestly, you guys, I'm a little bit freaking, freaking out about this because I do not like needles near my face. Who does? I would never even like put lip injections unless like I really wanted to. I honestly was considering doing lip injections a long, long time ago. And um, I decided not to do it because uh, I don't know. I thought about having a needle to my face just freaking screams to me run but i love you guys so much that i decided to try it out and see how it works now it might not be something that i'm thinking in my mind that it's probably needles that i'm probably gonna bleed it's probably not the kind of product i hope not at least but we're gonna try it out so i pretty much have my face all cleansed exfoliated dry um I am going to apply some facial serum, which says right here to apply. So I'm gonna go in with my Farsali Unicorn Essence Facial Serum. We're good with the serum. Now it says here, gently roll micro needle roller across skin in all directions. Paying special attention to your forehead, chin, and cheeks. Light to moderate pressure depending on preference. Cleanse roller after each use by submerging and rubbing alcohol for one to three minutes, then air dry. This is the micro needle. So what you wanna do, you guys, when applying this, you wanna actually have your index finger onto this side over here, which has a little groove there. So that way you can control it a lot better. So you wanna go like that and you wanna go up. You're gonna start on the cheeks first and right away you guys it feels very weird almost like a prickling sensation i'm not sure if i like how it's feeling on my skin honestly because i don't feel really like honestly i don't even feel good when doing this um but i'm just showing you guys how this works you do feel kind of like a burning feeling afterwards when doing this a couple times and I do feel like I am getting a lot redder in certain areas when even doing this. We're gonna go also in the middle here, which is which is where I tend to get those like lines here when you frown. So definitely gonna work it there. Right away, I do see that it's making me red. So I'm also gonna go across my forehead. Guys, this actually kind of hurts. I don't know kind of hurts you guys but I'm really applying really gentle pressure to my skin but you definitely feel that pricking sensation definitely feel it so it doesn't say how long you're supposed to do this but honestly to be quite honest I am just done with this but I do feel like you have to actually try this a lot more so it says for optimal results used in conjunction with facial serums and cream so I guess this is just more to kind of get this cream to absorb better into your skin so i think this is what it's supposed to be for and also to improve collagen formation there are a lot of these at tj maxx so if you come across it if you're interested in trying it out see for yourself see if you will like it um to me i feel like i can get enough with masks because i don't know if i will constantly be doing this to my face Okay, you can also bring it down your neck as well just to improve circulation there because you know sometimes um, our necks is something that we kind of do not put a lot of attention to. So definitely cool that it's actually something for that as well. So pretty interesting but not something that I would actually try out again. Now before I get into the next product that I am actually going to be showing you guys, this other product is something that I did find at TJ Maxx for $2. 99 as you can see and this one is called the therapeutic finger massager now this is from the brand spa bella and 
It's supposed to be a massager for your fingers, which is like really weird, you guys. I've never actually tried anything like this. I think this is actually pretty good for someone who works in a field where you actually use your hands a lot or your fingers, someone who maybe sews, somebody who, who does manicures or pedicures, who's using their fingers constantly. Even for someone who even has maybe rheumatoid arthritis, before I get started, I'm actually going to apply a moisturizer before onto my hand so that way it's a lot easier for the massager to work so i guess you're supposed to kind of like put your finger right through the massager and it's supposed to massage your finger now let's see how i feel about this it's very interesting okay this does feel really good you guys especially down here you guys that's where i think this is very useful for because that's typically where your muscles or your bones start to get kind of contracted there. So I definitely recommend this for that. Very, very interesting. So far, very interesting. I think that if I have cramps on my fingers, I will probably go to this and use it for that. And for $3, you guys, you can't go wrong. I think it's pretty awesome. And it says it's massage therapist approved as well. So really good idea. So the next product, you guys, that I wanted to try is this one from TJ Maxx. It is from the brand Kenny Dip London. It is a silicone blender. This was going at TJ Maxx for $4. And when I seen this, I honestly thought about the silicone sponge. I don't know if you guys ever heard about that um, on the makeup community on YouTube, but a lot of people were, a lot of YouTubers were reviewing the silicone sponge. But when I seen a silicone beauty blender, I was like, whoa, never have I ever thought to find a beauty blender that's silicone at TJ Maxx. So I wanted to try it out and see how it feels and how it actually applies my foundation. So I'm gonna try this out. I actually get about two sponges in this container. One is blue and the other one is a like aqua blue or a green color. But this is how it looks like you guys and it's definitely silicone. You can definitely feel that it's not gonna break on you unless you like rip it apart, but very, very cool. One of the sponges actually has a flat edge in a corner there. And then the other one is just like a typical beauty blender. So really cool. It has like little sparkles all around too, which is awesome. So I'm gonna actually apply my foundation with this. Let's just see how it works. I think this is really weird because I never tried something like this before either. I'm gonna go in with a foundation that's actually liquidy. I'm gonna go with the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I'm just going to dab it here. I think that's how you're supposed to use it. Now I didn't put a primer on because honestly after this, I'm not really doing anything and I'm not gonna go out. So I'm gonna actually apply this on my face, just like that. It says that the silicone sponge is perfect for smooth application without wasting a single drop of makeup. Perfectly blend foundation, blush, highlighter, and more than simply wash your sponge off and start again. Now I guess this is very easy to also wash too, so that's pretty interesting. Definitely does not waste foundation. I feel like it's taking a lot longer to blend my foundation than it would with a beauty blender. So not sure how I like about that, but honestly it does it does look like it's already my foundation is already pretty much set. Actually don't mind it you guys. It's actually pretty cool. Now we're going to go in on the other side. And this is only one pump of foundation, you guys. It is a freaking workout on your arms cuz I already feel it on my arms from doing all that blending. I still have some on my hand. I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead. Can you guys hear that? It's like I'm beating my face, literally. I don't know if you guys can see, but my skin looks so flawless. Wow. And I still have some product on my hand. So that's all the product that I'm going to use. Now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm going to take my other sponge here and I'm just going to Use the flat part of the sponge and work that into my skin. I'm gonna use this other sponge, this little tip over here, just to go over certain edges where I kind of left that indentation. And to get inside here. I'm going to try to apply bronzer now. So let's just see how we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna grab the flat edge here. 
and I'm going to put a little bit of that product. This is a bronzer and I'm just going to like work that into my skin. Now the only problem that I have with this is that it leaves a little bit of an indentation but you can actually by patting it gently and you can actually remove it. It's not that bad. I'm gonna go use the Born This Way powder from Too Faced and I'm gonna actually apply this here and also apply it underneath the eye. Now it doesn't pick up a lot of the powder actually when using the sponge. All right you guys, so you've seen my bronzer, how it applied. It actually did a good job at applying the bronzer. It doesn't look patchy and it doesn't look like there are certain uh, lines anywhere. So honestly, I am quite impressed with this silicone sponge. The only downside to this silicone sponge is that it takes a freaking a long time to apply foundation. So if you got all the time in the world, girl, to do this, and then go ahead, by all means, try it out. But me, I am the out the door type of girl, so I do not need to be spending a lot of time on my foundation, blending it out. So I honestly don't know if I will use it again. So I'm gonna move on to my next last product, which is something that has probably been in the market already. This is also one that Ardell has come up with and it is the Magnetic Lashes. But this is from the brand Pro Beauty. This is a different brand and you get about four pairs of eyelashes. But it's actually a pretty good idea, I feel. But at the same time, it's kind of like, if it does work, it's pretty good because then you don't have to use a glitter glue. But then like, it's so weird to me and odd that it's magnetic. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Enough of me talking. Let me just give this a try and see for myself how this works. So I'm gonna open it up. So we got the magnetic eyelashes and I'm gonna read the instructions in the back. These are called Wispies in the color black. It says no damage to natural lashes, no glue, adhesive required, secure and comfortable, lightweight and reusable. Um, easy application, so let's just see. And it even tells you on the package from the eyelashes which one is the top one and which one is the bottom, so you are not confused to how to use them. So as you can see, the eyelashes have these magnetic things all around. It has like three of them in each corner and one in the middle. And I guess you're supposed to apply this first on the top, just like that. But then like it doesn't stay put, that's the thing, like it doesn't stay put, so, hmm. Okay, 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 I think I got it, I think I got it. Now I gotta remove the bottom ones, okay. And when you remove the bottom ones, I guess you're supposed to just put it up like this. Oh. Now, the only thing, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is this part here where the magnetic didn't adhere well or didn't go all the way in towards my eyelashes. Let me try and see if I can actually move it inward a little bit more. But it actually doesn't look that bad. What do you guys think? Let's try it, try it again and see if I can do a better job. I don't know if you guys can see. Did I do a lot better this time? Okay, I definitely think I did a lot better this time than the previous one. But that is so freaking cool. Wow. Now I feel like this one looks a lot better than this one, right? It does look a lot better, but it doesn't look bad. All right, so the eyelashes, the magnetic eyelashes are on. What do you guys think? Is it something that you guys will probably wear? It does feel like it's going to stay there, you guys. It does feel pretty good. It does remind me of the the Ardell Demi Wispies, um, but these are actually really cool, really dope. So I definitely do recommend it. If you guys do see it at TJ Maxx, give it a try. See if you like it. Now I don't promise that you're gonna be actually good at applying magnetic falsies, but um, I think it's a pretty awesome idea to try it out, especially if you're someone that is allergic to eyelash glue. Maybe this is something that may work better for you. So give it a try and let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about it. 
And I'm just gonna go and put some lip, my lip because it looks, I look really freaking weird without lipstick. All right, so that is pretty much all the products that I wanted to show you guys from TJ Maxx, all the weird products. Some of these products really impressed me. Others, I wasn't so sure about. I kind of felt like they were like, eh, something that I will probably pass. But the products that I do recommend, I do recommend the Magnetic Lashes. They look really good. I honestly am pretty impressed by these. I totally, totally, you guys, recommend the Makeup Eraser. This is going to save your life when you are messing up on your makeup. If you have mascara here, if you have some type of like mess up on your face this is going to save your life this is going to be pretty good because you could actually also take it on the go as well now i do like the mask that i was using earlier but i don't actually consider that a weird product now that i think about it i feel like it's something that pretty much is the same as any other mask but the thing that i do want to say about it is that it actually it does a really good job because it made my skin so glowy you guys after using it and i do love love it so definitely do recommend the mask so anyways thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys actually try it out for yourself and see how it does for you let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts and with that being said my loves thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do any more of these type of videos trying out like weird things from tj maxx let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys in my next video Adios.